In this video, we'll go over the most common CAN bus related issues affecting the installation and operation of the Bear Spatcher full operated heaters. Please note that the information in this video applies to the North America heater harness. So if you purchase your harness outside of North America, a lot of information shown here won't apply to you. Starting on the installation, here we have an electronic new generation heater where we can see the heater connected to the main harness as well as the EasyStar Pro controller and the EasyStar Pro adapter harness that comes together with it. The adapter harness as supplied is much longer, but here it has already been cut to length and the connector has been assembled. Make sure you're connecting wire collars in the right positions, use a proper crimping tool and don't forget to insert the orange lock in the center of the connector. Then remove the termination resistor cap and connect the adapter harness to the main harness, verifying you connected the red to red, brown to brown, blue red to blue red, and blue black to blue black. Don't forget to connect the termination resistor cap on the adapter harness close to the EasyStar Pro controller connector. This is the most frequent mistake, with people throwing the termination resistor cap away instead of moving it to the correct position. This termination resistor cap is available as a spare part under the part number shown on the screen. You can find these and other part numbers on our product catalog. Please also pay attention to the yellow tag on the main harness that says do not bend here, where the second termination resistor is located. Be aware that the resistor on the diagnostic cap is an end of line resistor of around 10,000 ohms, so it is not a termination resistor. Always after finishing installation or when troubleshooting a heater with CAN bus, it's highly recommended to confirm the proper CAN bus resistance. For this measurement, always make sure the harness fuses are disconnected so no power is being supplied to the system. When dealing with an electronic heater, the simplest way to measure resistance is to disconnect the heater from the main harness and to measure on the main harness side the resistance between pins 1 and 3, which are the blue-red and blue-black wires. If you're dealing with an hydronic S3 heater, the connection to the heater has small terminals, so it is advisable to measure on the diagnostic connector by removing the diagnostic cap and measuring on the metal contacts. You can also measure at the spot on electronic heaters. What you expect to find as a result is a value of 60 ohms plus or minus 2 ohms, so this is correct in this case. In case you measure a value close to 120 ohms, this most likely means you have a missing or broken termination resistor. Most often than not, it was forgotten to move the termination resistor cap that I've just shown. If you have a lower value of resistance, there is a short circuit somewhere between the CAN high and CAN low wires that must be found and fixed. Avoid routing CAN bus wires close to AC voltage wires or high current DC voltage wires since that promotes electromagnetic interference, which can disrupt the CAN bus communication and lead to issues. Also, use Eberspatcher original parts for any connection or extension required in the heater CAN bus circuit, since they are specified to help avoid interferences. If when starting your EasyStar Pro you get a message of no heater found, the CAN high and CAN low wires are most likely mixed up somewhere in the circuit. Also make sure you have power and ground getting to your heater and that the heater is properly connected to the harness. We hope this information is useful for your troubleshooting procedures. If you have any question, don't hesitate to contact our technical support team. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.